Welcome back to the channel, Guardians. The season is winding down, so you may not be playing as much, but boy, you really need to get this fusion rifle crafted, peeps. If you haven't already, consider this your warning. Craft it ASAP. Today we are reviewing the god rolls for both PvE and PvP for the Lightful Legendary Fusion Rifle, Iterative Loop. It's an S-tier weapon, and we'll be breaking it down. Blood, sweat, and tears go into the making of my videos, so if you do find this informative, slap that like button. Let's begin with the PvE segment. The Iterative Loop is the Neomuna craftable fusion rifle in the Rapid Fire archetype that deals arc damage. Rapid Fire fusions are arguably the best of the sub archetypes in PvE due to the Rapid Fire and damage output that they can produce. It synergizes extremely well with arc subclasses also due to it being an arc special weapon, more of that to come. With the right setup, it's capable of stunning both overloads and unstoppables in endgame content. The god roll in PvE differs to the PvP one in that you want to spec into reload speed, you're going to want to go for the Reload Masterwork. For the first column, no reload perks here, so you're looking to keep the weapon stable, and look no further than Arrowhead Break, which greatly helps with the recoil as well as granting a bump to handling. The second column is the battery, and for this, I went for Liquid Coils. The weapon is already a fast-firing weapon, so for that additional bit of impact, the slower charge time is very noticeable. For the fourth column, unless you're planning to use this weapon for grenade or melee builds, there is only one option you should even consider. Vault Shot. If you remember my video about the Arc Linear Fusion Rifle from two seasons ago, this perk, paired with Compulsive Reloader, oh boy. Getting a kill with this weapon, nearly insta-reload when the mag is at least half full with Vault Shot propped, the weapon can clear an entire room of adds when the blink of an eye. It's S tier for add heavy encounters, and the jolt damage it can do is not too bad either. Vault Shot Jolt can also stun overload champions in any content too, making it a decent option for Nightfalls and Lost Sector farming when Arc Surge is active. Enhanced versions of Compulsive Reloader and Vault Shot will give you an additional 5 points of reload and an additional 1 second on Vault Shot Charge respectively, making it even more lethal. It also has the Neomuna Origin trait, Nano Rockets, for bonus damage, especially on beefier combatants. The main disadvantage of using this roll is quite simple, ammo. You will burn through it quickly, so make sure you have special ammo finders on when using this roll. I tested the numbers on the Cosmodrome Ogre and the results are nasty. Each burst fires 9 individual rounds that do 3000 damage, landing all 9 shots does just over 27000 damage, and landing 2 bursts launches the Origin Trait Micro Missile which deals a further 10,000. And damaging the Ogre with the Fusion Rifle does an additional 12000 damage when jolted. This is just the base weapon, pairing this with Arc subclasses makes it absolutely incredible. Slotting certain fragments allows it to inherit some very potent traits. With Spark of Discharge equipped, the Fusion has the possibility to spawn Ionic Traces, granting you ability energy, whilst Beacons, which is the absolute GOAT in my build you are seeing in the clips, blinds targets when defeating a nearby combatant with the Iterative Loop, enhancing add control and also allowing the weapon to stun unstoppables if there are any near the radius of the defeated target. Just bear in mind you need to be amplified for this to work. We have reached the midway point of this video, are you still with me? Great! Before we get into the PvP section of this video, slap that like button if you're enjoying the content, and make sure to subscribe for future videos, we are on the path to YouTube Partner. Moving on, PvP time! Now, I have waited until the Rapid Fire archetype receives its recent buff to cover this weapon. Having not used it before, it feels extremely strong. With the right roll, it can map Guardians at 16.5 meters. As mentioned earlier in the video, the roll for PvP is completely different to the PvE one. For the masterwork, range is your friend, so select a range masterwork. The first column has quite a few options. Small ball is my pick, however, giving you nice bumps to range and stability. Projection fuse in the second column will grant a large range boost. With these perks, your loop will start damage fall off at 16.5 meters. You can check this on the D2 Foundry website. For the third column, under pressure will grant increased range and stability when your mag drops below 50%. This effectively means, as the loop has 7 in the mag, as long as you have no more than 3 in the mag, this perk will activate. Finally, Kickstart will increase damage and charge rate when sliding while sprinting, giving you that extra lethality. Now, I personally hate fusion rifles. I'm a shotty type of player. But I have to admit, this weapon is a nightmare to play against. If used correctly, it can absolutely map 3 times the distance a god roll shotgun can. I'll let the clips play out for your viewing, but in summary, it's absolutely insane in PvE. It has great ad clear potential, it can do some incredible jolt damage to tanky combatants and handle champions in endgame content as well, whilst in PvP, it's an absolute nightmare to come up against. For the first time on this channel, this weapon gets an all-star on the alchemist scale of 5 out of 5. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the PvE side of the recording of this content, but the PvP part can go 
PvP is in a really sad state and has become insufferable outside of trials and comp. It seems the PvP good old days are far behind us, and Bungie prefer to show us graphs instead of listening to actual community feedback. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the current state of PvP. Next up, another fusion rifle. This time we will check out the Royal Executioner. Don't miss it. Don't forget to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for future content. This was Plasma Alchemist. Your viewership is much appreciated. Until next time, see you later. Yeah.